Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another important concept that is nothing but the property binding. So before learning about this property binding, so what I want to explain you is about the binding concept. So first we need to understand what is the binding in our Angular. So if I go here into our new file, so we are learning about the understanding the binding concept. Okay. So now let's try to understand one thing that in an Angular template, a binding so nothing but a binding creates a live connection so what i can say is it creates a connection between the angular template that is nothing but the html file between the angular template and also the model so model is nothing but the component instance let's say let's you can you can assume it like a model means the component instance to which the template belongs to so that is one thing so that means a binding creates a connection between the part of the UI created from the template, something like a DOM element, directive or component, whatever it may be. So the com live connection between the part of the UI and also the model that is nothing but the component instance of the template which it belongs to. So this connection can be used to synchronize the view with the model. So whenever the data changes right in the model, automatically the view also will be updated. So that means both the view and the model will be in synchronized with each other. So to notify that whenever to notify the model. So now whenever, whenever in a template, any user action or event or anything takes place. So automatically the model will be notified. Whenever the data changes means the template will be notified like this. A synchronize will be there between these two. So who will take care of this one? This completely that uh, the concept will be taken care by the Angular's change detection algorithm. The Angular's change detection algorithm is responsible for keeping the view and the model in sync to each other. So this is one, this is the concept of binding. So now the examples of the binding. So there are different ways how these bindings will be implemented in the template. So those things are nothing but I can say it as a, first one is a text interpolation, which we have learned in our previous video and the property binding, event binding and also the two way binding. So these are the different ways of bindings. The first one we have already told you binding always have the two parts, a target which receives the bound value and a template expression which produce which produce a value from the model so that is one thing now i already told you about the text interpolation so we have one thing that is nothing but the template expression so the template expressions which we will be writing it using the like this with a curly braces and here in this one we cannot use some of the javascript expressions something like like this these things we cannot use it assignment operators like is equal to plus is equal to minus is equal to like that and operators such as new type of or instance of these things we not, should not be used and also the chaining of expressions with semicolon or the comma and the increment and the decrement operators and some of the years 2015 plus operators like this and also there is also a no support for the bitwise or and also a bitwise end also in this one this is called as text in, text interpolation and we also interpolated uh, expressions we already learned that so it has a different context right so the context means the, the default context is nothing but the context is the component instance. That is one thing. And the another one is the template input variable. So if you try to understand the template input variable, whenever you try to use a for uh, ng for or something like that, there we will call it as a template input variable. And the another one is a template reference variable. We'll try to learn about this template reference variable. So whenever we try to use an input with a hash means like that means then we call it as a template reference variable. So these are the different types of expression context you'll be having. First one is that is nothing but template expression. So that one is interpolated expression. Okay. Expression we will have it. And the, that one I already explained you that one will have a context like component instance. So this one will have a component instance. And the another one is which I want to tell you is the um, <coughs> template input variable. Okay. Template input variable. So this one is something like uh, I want to explain you, uh, let's say, let's say I will take a simple example. So here I will be having a thread for loop. So don't uh, uh, confuse about this thread for, I will try to explain you. These are the input control flow, which has been introduced in the Angular 17. I'll try to explain you. So here we are looping a for loop and this customer is called as a template input variable. So this customer will be belonging to the, in this context only. So that is one thing. And the another one is the template reference variable. So here I will try to go down and I will write here template reference variable. 
and in this template reference variable here so we are having a label and type something and we are taking the hash customer input and now here i am trying to write customer input dot value and this one is called as a template reference variable so this is one thing <clears throat> so template expressions cannot refer to anything in the global namespaces except undefined so that's why we will not refer the window variable or the document variable additionally they also cannot call the console dot log math dot max so these all are restricted to the reference members of this expression context so that is the thing which you need to understand now the second one which i want to explain you is the property binding so text interpolation we have a clear idea about this one now the second one is a property binding property binding in the angular helps you set values for properties of the html elements or the directives use the property binding to do things such as toggle button features set paths programmatically and share the values between the components so because of that reason so we will be using so now what i have told you so toggle button features paths set to paths programmatically and share values between the components so how to share the values between the components we will try to learn about this one so first one is the understanding the flow of data flow of data first one so property binding moves a value in one direction only so here if i try to explain you property binding so this will this data will be moved only in one direction from components property into your target element so that means from the component to the template okay to the element or power property that is the target element property to read a target element property or call one of its methods means so we will try to see about the view child and the content child those all things so i will try to learn i will try to explain you those all things so now to bind to an element property we should enclose it with a square brackets so okay so if you want to bind it so we need to enclose it with a square brackets which identify the property as the target property a target property is the dom property to which you want to assign a value so i will try to explain you about this one so for example let's say that here we are having this code right so let's say that we are having uh, i will try to remove this one okay and here i will be having this image source so normally the image src is there right so image src is equal to if i try to mention it like this automatically you will be able to see an image here so this is static representation for example let's say that this one is a property here the image url is a property and the value is here so if i want to mention this image url directly here okay so this will be rendered as a string okay so now the image is broken so now in order to bind this property into this target element property means attribute means then i need to use it square bracket then automatically the image url will be converted into a property instead of directly displaying it as a string value directly as it is a static value it will take the it will try to take the value of the property so now we are able to bind the property so this is the simple way assigning a string to a component property or an element property something like that so this is how we will be assigning in most cases the target name is the name of the property even when it appears to be the name of the attribute in this example src is the name of the image element property and the brackets cause angular to evaluate the right hand side of the assignment as a dynamic expression so the right hand side should be evaluated as the dynamic expression without the brackets angular treats the right hand side as a string literal and sets the property to the static value only to assign a string to a property means so we need to for example let's say that so here let's say that we are having a div element okay or otherwise uh, let's say that we are having an input element okay input type is equal to text and if i try to assign it like this so it will be a static value okay so it will be a static value directly so you'll be able to see it's a static value but when you bind it with this one now it will think as this one as a property now it is telling that property doesn't exist now if you try to add it as image url now you will be able to see the value will be added here and if you remove this one automatically the string value the static value will be image url only so this is what i am trying to explain you so this is one thing so now so i already told you about this one right so the property binding we we can use it to toggle the button features also we can use it and we have seen how to set the paths programmatically and we can also share the values between the components also i will try to show you in the next video so hope you understood about this binding concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions 
please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you